Hi, my name is Amber Terhune. I'm the health educator for the Johnson County Health Department. This presentation is about diphtheria. Diphtheria is a bacterial infection which may be cutaneous or respiratory. Cutaneous diphtheria is less severe and may affect areas such as the skin, eyes, and genitals. Respiratory diphtheria is serious and may affect tonsils, throat, larynx, and the nose. Before the vaccine was available in the United States, diphtheria was the common cause of illness and death in children. In 1921, there were about 206,000 cases and 15,520 deaths. Before treatment was available, up to half of those who were infected died. After widespread use of the vaccine started in the United States in the 1920s, it became rare. There was over a 99% decline in cases. In the United States, between 2004 to 2015, there were only two cases, and the last case in Indiana was in 1996. However, diphtheria is still common in other parts of the world. Diphtheria is spread through respiratory droplets from the mouth, nose, and throat through coughing or sneezing, and it can also be spread from touching an infected surface or wound and then touching the mouth or nose. The incubation period for diphtheria is two to five days, and a person is considered contagious until about four weeks after the infection or 48 hours after starting antibiotic treatment. Common symptoms may include headache, fever, chills, cough, sore throat, swollen neck glands, a gray membrane covering the back of the throat, weakness, and paleness. Diphtheria may be diagnosed by doing a physical examination, obtaining a medical, travel, and immunization history, and doing lab tests. A throat swab may be done, or a membrane tissue sample could be done for respiratory infection, or a wound tissue sample may be done for a cutaneous infection. After someone is diagnosed with diphtheria, antibiotics will be given to clear up the infection and decrease the period of contagiousness. Diphtheria antitoxin may also be given to neutralize the effects of the toxin. Some of the gray membrane covering the throat may be removed if breathing is obstructed. Other measures may include bed rest, liquids and soft foods, respiratory support, and the person may need to be hospitalized with isolation. It is important to start treatment as soon as possible if diphtheria is suspected instead of waiting for lab confirmation. Those considered high risk for contracting diphtheria may include those who are unvaccinated, especially if they are traveling to other countries, adults who are not up to date on their boosters, those who are immunocompromised, and those who live in or visit countries where it is common, especially if they are under five years of age or over 60 years of age, and living in unsanitary or crowded conditions. The bacteria releases dangerous toxins that may enter the bloodstream and cause more severe damage, such as rash or blisters turning into open sores on the body, heart damage, kidney failure, respiratory failure, pneumonia, paralysis, nerve damage, swallowing and breathing difficulty, or death. Even with treatment, about 5 to 10 percent and up to 20 percent in children under 5 or adults over 40 may die. Without treatment, the death rate is up to 50 percent. You should see a doctor if you have been exposed to someone who is infected with diphtheria, especially if you are not up to date on your vaccination. You should also see a doctor if you have symptoms of diphtheria or those symptoms worsen. The best prevention for diphtheria is by vaccination. Those who are fully vaccinated are about 95% protected for approximately 10 years. The DTaP or DT vaccines are given to those ages 6 and younger, and the Tdap or TD vaccines are given to those ages 7 and older. The recommended childhood doses are given at ages 2, 4, and 6 months, 15 to 18 months, and 4 to 6 years. The recommended adolescent dose is given at age 11 to 12. Adults should receive a dose of TD every 10 years with a one lifetime dose of Tdap, except for pregnant women who should receive the Tdap vaccine during each pregnancy for the pertussis component. You may catch up doses later if you have not previously been immunized. 
Indiana requires vaccine for all those in kindergarten through 12th grade enrollment. Many colleges require it as well. You may receive the vaccine after infection or exposure. Antibiotics may be given to close contacts to prevent infection after they were exposed. Be sure to avoid others if you are infected. Stay home from work or school while contagious. Cover coughs or sneezes with a tissue, your upper sleeve, or elbow, and be sure to wash your hands often. This concludes the diphtheria presentation. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit any of these websites, call your local health department, or see your physician. Thank you.